All right, so in this video, I want to add a little bit of loading message to this sidebar. And the reason for that is when I right now go and open the sidebar, see initially it takes a little bit of time before it loads this drop downs that we have to go grab from the spreadsheet and load it in here. The more things we have to get from a spreadsheet, this could be taking longer time. So it would be nice to have some sort of loading message until this whole thing is ready and then actually reveal the entire form. So to do this, I'm gonna go back to my user form and this is where our HTML is. So someplace in the bottom of this, right above the scripts, I'm gonna create a div and we'll give this an ID. Now I'm also gonna give this a class. And what I want to happen with this, I want this to be basically a cover on top of all of these so that none of this is visible right now. So let's try to do that. So I'm gonna go here and style this class loading. And for that, we'll go to our styles and target that class with dot for classes. And I'm gonna do a few things here. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure I apply some sort of background color to this. I also want to make sure that this takes the entire area in here. So it needs to be a size to take this entire height and the width of this. So to do that, I'm gonna set width and height properties. And width would be 100% of the view width. And height would be 100 of the view height. Now, I also don't want this to show up below all of this because right now, as is, it will just be below all these things because that's where I'm putting this, right? All the way down. I wanna take this thing outside of this entire HTML content and position it by itself. So to do that, we can change the position property and make it fixed. And with fixed position, now we can change where it needs to be positioned instead of being relative to HTML elements that it's next to. So we'll just position it from top zero and from left side, we'll also give zero, meaning we want that to start from the upper left corner. Now I want to also make sure that this shows up above everything else on the page. So I'm gonna set Z index and a very large number. So, so far, let's go and check out what this gets us. So now, as you can see, I have this whole great thing that covers this entire area. Now I wanna make sure there is some sort of spinner or loading message, and we should be able to get that from Bootstrap. These are the buttons, let's see. Progress, maybe? No. Spinners, maybe. Oh, there it is. I kind of liked this one, so I'm going to copy this. Go back and add it to my div box right here, right inside of that. Let's see what this looks like. Maybe that should be a little bigger. Let's see how we can set the size for this. Inline styles to set the dimension. Okay, that's weird, but we'll use this anyway. So I'm just gonna copy this style thing, go back and add to the spinner border thing and we'll make it something like that. Let's try this again. There it is, now it's bigger. Maybe something that says loading. So 
So now it says loading and there's this thing next to it. Now I don't want this to be positioned next to each other like this. I want loading to be on top or maybe below the spinner. So to do that, because they're both inside of this flex container, they're appearing as columns. So if we just wrap them both in a div or something, that should take care of it. So I'll have both of these divs inside of this div, which is inside of this flex box. So now if we go back and reload this, see now loading is on top of this. I'm not sure if I want it on top, maybe I want it below. So I'll just move it down here. I also want to push this down a little bit. So to do that, I guess I'll just do a little bit of padding. So let's just do it here. We already have a class, so we do PB5. Top padding, not the bottom. There it is. So that creates a little bit of space. But I think 5 was the largest one you could do there, if I'm not mistaken. So if I wanted to do more padding, I have to take the matters in my own hand. So I'm just going to say PT40, something like that. And now nothing should happen because I think you have 0 through 5. So if I go back and reload this, should be no padding. But now I'm going to go and style this class myself. So I'll go to my CSS. I'll just do another one. And we'll do padding top. I'll try something like 10 rem. Let's see what that will produce. Yeah, it's good enough. Maybe we should turn the background to black and take all of these and make it like white or something. So first of all, let's see how we change the color of this. So see, there's the color. So this one is the light. So I'm going to copy that, go back to this and find our spinner and add this class to it. Now this loading text, can we also just say text light on our div? Yep. So I'm going to change the background to darker. And again, you can do hex colors and stuff here if you wanted to, to make it the exact color you want. I'm just going to turn it black. There it is. So now we have this loading here. And at some point when the page loads, we just want to take this off. So right now we're basically stuck with this forever. So to do that, I'll just go here and we need to just hide this element with ID loading right here. We can hide it or remove it completely from the DOM. That's another option. Anyway, so we need to remove it after the page loads. Now, when does the page load in our code? So we should have this event listener that fires after the page content loads and we go to this after sidebar loads. So that's the function that runs after that. So that should be this one. So then after that sidebar loads, what we're doing, we're running this script that calls that drop down array function to get the data. And when we get the data, we go to this after drop down array returned function. Let's see where that is. This. And after we get the data back, we basically just fill up all of this stuff in our dropdown. And after we fill up, that's where we should just display 
the form. So basically we have to hide that thing. So I'm going to do document, get element by ID. The ID was loading for that. And we want to basically just get rid of that element. So there are a few different ways to do it. If you want to just get rid of this element completely, you should be able to just do remove to get rid of it. Let's check what happens. See, we got that loading message. It loads and after it's done, we just completely remove that element from the DOM. Another option, if you didn't want to remove this, you could also just hide it by doing something like style dot display equals to none. So now it should hide that element. So let's check that, save, go back and reload. So that will kind of produce the same results in a way, but still we have that in there. So if you wanted to bring it back, you can then do display block at some point and bring it back. But for me, I just want to get rid of that thing. So I'm going to do dot remove. And that's pretty much all I'm going to do here. I'm just going to remove that element. So now we do this. We have the loading message. It loads. We got the form. And now we should be able to work with it pretty much the same way we used to work with this the entire time. And that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.